If there's one thing I'm passionate about when it comes to my clients, it's lead generation. Building an email list to market your business is one of the most important things you can do. In a world where social media platforms change and can even go away, you have true ownership over your email list. But where do you start? Today, I'm gonna to show you a tool that you can use to get a jump start on building that email list. Classbo offers high converting pop-ups that you can install on your website and integrate with your email marketing platform. Now, if you're in the boat of saying pop-ups are super annoying, no way am I adding that, let me tell you the truth. The fact of the matter is they work. And better yet, you can put some parameters on them in Classbo to make them less annoying. Before we take a look at Classbo, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now. And I love to share what I've learned in the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. We're gonna start out at the Classbo website so that you can kind of get a quick feel before we dive in on how this works. They offer over 700 ready to use pop-up templates. So if you are not real confident in your designer skills, there is no need to worry because they probably have something that is going to work not only for the use case that you want, but a design that is stunning as well. So we could just scroll through it just to call out a few of their features. They do have an annoyance safeguard. So you have the ability to set all the rules on how often you want the pop-up to show and when you want it to show and also making sure that there's overlap protection so that you don't have like 10 pop-ups going on at one time. You have the ability to customize everything and it's a very quick and easy process. So let's just dive in. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install this on a WordPress site. I'm a huge Divi user, so if you don't use Divi, that is okay. So this is just a local site that I have as sort of a playground to show you how all of this works. And this is what I'm gonna be using. Let's get started by making a new widget. I've already made a few and we can go through those later. But once I've signed up and I have an account, I can either start completely from scratch or I can go to the template library, which I highly recommend because there are so many designs out there already. It's just gonna speed up the process even quicker. So the first thing you could do is you can kind of filter through these. Do you have a specific use case in mind? Do you have a specific layout in mind? Do you want to go industry specific? Does it need to have a theme? There are lots of things that you can click to filter these down. So. If I want to call out a few of these that I think are really cool, that is just beyond your ordinary pop-up, the gamification ones, those you've probably seen on other sites, a giveaway spin or a scratch and claim a discount, you can have them win a prize. It often brings a little bit more fun and interactivity to it so that people are more willing to give you their email address and sign up for what you are offering. They also have additional ones for promoting lead magnets. So if you are wanting to promote an informational lead magnet, you have a free download that you are offering, you can use these templates to get started. If you wanna keep it super general and just collect emails, this one has up to 50% off for a fall sale. You can have subscribe to your newsletter. It can be as complex or as simple as you want it to be. The other thing that I will call out really quickly is that you do have layout options too. So if you like a pop-up where it's just popping up in the middle of the page, you don't have to go that route if you don't want to because you could do a floating box that's usually in the corner and you can specify where you want it to show up. If you'd rather have a floating bar at the bottom of your webpage, that is an option too. So let's get started. I kind of like this bar idea. So I'm gonna choose this one. Now this first screen here is just going to show you all of the template through the process. So you're not doing any editing here. So don't get too caught up on like, I don't know how to make these changes. It's gonna show you what the sign up screen looks like, what the success screen looks like, if somebody's already subscribed, what it might look like, and then if there happened to be an error, what that would look like. And then you can also see how that looks on mobile. So this is just a complete preview of the widget that you select. If you are like, yes, love it, let's use this one, we can click this button in the top right corner. And this is where you can literally edit to your heart's content. You have the ability to change the text. You can click on these elements. You can edit these by just typing and changing the text there if you need to. If you need to go into the font family, if you need to go into the text color, you can 
change and customize anything and everything that you see. You could also add additional fields if you need to. So this template is really just a starting point. I could be here for a very long time if I went and I showed you all of the different things that you could do to customize these, but I want to get through this process. Do you know that you can customize every screen? So this is the sign up screen. If I scroll down, we've got the thank you, if somebody's already subscribed, and then what that error message looks like. So you can completely customize everything. And if you don't like the colors, again, you can just change that to a different color. Once you are happy with your design, you would just go to save it in this corner. And then this is where we can set the triggers. So how do we want this to be displayed? We can click into these edit settings and then we have a display frequency. If you're just like, hey, pop it up all the time, then you could select do not limit. If you want it to just do it once for that user and then never again, you could choose that. Once per session, this would be what I would recommend. Once per session means that if somebody is coming to your site and they're playing around on it for a bit, they're only gonna get that pop up once. And then if they happen to come back and maybe even a few hours or the next day, then that is only going to be the session. They say that the session limit is about 30 minutes of inactivity. So if they come back later, they might get that pop up again, but that's completely fine because they're not getting it over and over as they scroll through your website. If you want to add a little bit more distance in it, you can do a one time per and you can set that to however often you think. So if it's once a week, I probably wouldn't recommend that because that's a little too sparse, but if you wanted to make sure that it was only happening once a day, then you could set that there. My recommendation would probably just be once per session. When to display, do you want it to pop up immediately? Some people get super annoyed at that. So you might want to add a little bit of buffer time before you hit them with that offer. I tend to say that 10 seconds is about the sweet spot. It defaults at 20 seconds, but for testing purposes, we might have to make sure that if we're coming back and forth, you might have to set that to immediately so that you make sure that these changes are coming because just be mindful of that. So 10 seconds is probably what I would recommend there. And then when to stop displaying it. If, if somebody is subscribed, there's no reason to keep showing them additional ones. And then you've got some annoyance safeguard options. And then to whom, if you only wanna show it to new visitors, if you want it to show it to everybody, this really depends on the offer that you're popping up. So if it's a lead generator, that could be targeted to all of your audiences, new and returning. But if it's a deal that you have going on specifically to new users only or new visitors, then you might wanna specify that that is a sale for you know new visitors only. You can also set to which pages you want it to show on, whether that be all or specific ones, or if you want to exclude certain pages and what locations. So once you go through all of your rules, you'll just go through to the next portion. And this is where you can add an integration. So if you already have a email marketing platform, whether that's Active Campaign, Constant Contact, MailChimp's in there. A lot of the big email marketing platforms are included, but if you do have one that's not on the list, don't worry. You can use Zapier and then you can create a webhook there to connect it to whatever platform that you're using. So for instance, I'm a Flowdesk user. If I wanna integrate this into Flowdesk, then I would need to use Zapier to make that direct connection. One thing you could do is just collect everything in a spreadsheet because these will, your leads will be stored in Classbo and then you could download and you could add them manually. The problem with that is, is the more traffic you get, the more conversions you get, that's kind of a manual process that you're not gonna wanna do. So I highly recommend checking out a way to automate the entire process, especially if you're doing lead generation. If you're offering a free download, you're gonna wanna make sure that the people who are signing up are automatically going to get that download and you're gonna have to use an integration in order to pull that off. If that is something that you want to know more about, if you're like, hey, please teach me how to do that, I'd love to make additional videos. Just let me know in the comments if that is something that you actually want to see because obviously I don't wanna make this video too long. So I could talk hours on this. So if that is of interest, just let me know and I can show you how to do that. Right now, we're just gonna store in Classbo and we're going to continue on. So I am done setting up this widget here. I highly recommend to give it some sort of name. So I'm gonna say 20% off 
bar and that will help me remember what it is. Right now this is unpublished. And so the one thing that you are going to want to make sure that you do is to install the script so that Classbo can work. With WordPress, you can actually do this two ways. So I'm gonna go over to the script panel here and then you can see I've entered in my domain, which is just my local sort of playground there. So that's what you're seeing right there. And then I have this script that I can add into my WordPress. Divi makes this super easy to add and I'm gonna show you where I put that. But the other thing I would say is if you are using WordPress and you're not a Divi user and you just don't know how to install that, they have a plugin that you can download and install. It makes everything super easy to get connected. Once you download the plugin, it'll give you a code and then you just pop the code into the plugin and then it's gonna connect your account. You also have the ability to install on Shopify and then you can use Google Tag Manager as well to install the script. So what I did, I tested out the WordPress plugin. It works great, but I wanted to make sure that I could also use the script in WordPress if I needed to. All I did was copy this code. And then if I go to my site, if you're familiar with Divi, in the Divi theme options, they have an integration tab. And then I added it to the head of my blog. So you can see this script right here. I pasted it right in and then I hit save changes and that allowed for the connection to be there. So you're not seeing a pop-up, so how do we get this working? We'll need to go back over and go to our widget list here and that 20% off bar, you can see that everything is unpublished. So all I need to do is publish that and then I should be able to see and now we can see that our bar is working and we can enter in our email address. I will just gonna enter in some content and then hit get my discount. We can see that it says that thank you. And another thing that I'll call out right now is that you can see that it's powered by Classbo. If you don't want that branding, you can always upgrade your account. You can always get started for free and test out all of your ideas. But if you're wanting to get rid of that branding, you will need to upgrade. If you are interested in upgrading, please check out the link in my description because you'll be able to grab a discount there as well as get the benefits that upgrading your account comes with, which is more page views and additional widgets. One other thing that I thought was very cool about Classbo that you just don't see with a lot of the other pop-up options out there is the ability to add a flasher. If you're not sure what a flasher is, let me show you. So I created the sale flasher and a sale countdown. So again, with the little bottom bar, I'm going to hit publish on both of these and you can see that they are linked. So I've linked the flasher to the sales countdown. We can see a little preview in the corner there of a bottom bar with a countdown to how long ever my sale goes. And then the flasher here is a little icon that pops up in the corner so that if we do click off and close that window, it's gonna be there so that we can return to it if we need to. So let me go back to my site. I'm gonna refresh and we can see that that flasher popped up. And so what happens now whenever we're navigating somewhere and we're like, okay, what is this? We can see that up to 50% off, we've got our promotion, it's got a set time. So this can be scheduled too. That's another great option for Classbo pop-ups is that you can schedule how long that they need to run and then you can set these fun little timers as well. We can close it out with that. So it's another great option to consider. The other things that you're gonna want to make sure that you know is that your leads are gonna get stored in here as well. We can see that I've got two signups so far. I can download this list if I need to. If I've connected it to one of my email marketing platforms, those should be going through automatically. I can also do A-B testing. There are so many options here that I could talk on and on about, but I'd say the next step is to test this out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Do you have any questions? I'd be happy to answer whatever I can for you. Please let me know if you're gonna try this out and what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.